Endometrial cancer is the most common gynecologic uh, malignancy in the United States. Uh, the problem with this cancer type is that compared to other gynecologic cancers, the incidence and mortality of this disease is sharply on the rise. Um, endometrial cancers, when they're early stage, often can be cured and have a really good prognosis. However, in the recurrent or advanced uh, stage setting, the prognosis is really poor. Um, and the other limitation is that unlike other cancers, we don't have a lot of options in terms of treatment. This is particularly the case for what we call the microsatellite stable population, which makes up the majority of the recurrent cases in this cancer, just by way of background. We know from prior work that's been done that um, elevated levels of vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, are associated with aggressive disease and can portend for poor prognosis in this uh, particular cancer. And there has been prior activity that has been shown with anti-angiogenic agents that target this pathway and this axis, particularly a drug called bevacizumab that I can highlight that showed modest response rates of around 14%. So that kind of serves as a background and there are other agents that have looked at the anti-angiogenic pathway and sort of have shown reproducible but modest activity, some limited by toxicity, others more tolerable. With regards to uh, immunotherapy in endometrial cancers, we know based on the TCGA data and other publications that there, you know, this is a heterogeneous disease and that there are various molecular phenotypes, some that are more immunogenic, 